Ave Maria, piena di grazie, Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne. The Rosary, as Pope St. Pius X said, is the most beautiful and richest of all prayers to the Mediatrix of all grace. It is the prayer that touches most the heart of the Mother of God. Meet Asher and Blythe Kaufman, a son and mother who are on a mission to share their love and devotion for this prayer to children. Thank you so much for being with us. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Thonhauser met them during the 10th World Meeting of Families in Rome. We're here in St. Peter's Square right during the World Meeting of Families, which is going on this week in Rome. And here with me are Asher and Blythe Kaufman from the U.S. They, it's, it's mother and son who came here to Rome for the World Meeting of Families, but they also run an initiative very close to the heart of the church, and it's called the Children's Rosary. So tell us a little bit, why have you come to Rome in the first place? Well, we're here for the World Meeting of Families. This is our third time coming. We went to the one in the United States in 2015 and also in Ireland. But this is really special to be able to come to Rome and also for my son who's been studying lots of Roman history. This was just really a rich location to be able to come and blend it really with learning our faith and coming to this meeting. Asher, can you tell us a little bit more about what that exactly is, the Children's Rosary? Well, so the Children's Rosary is a prayer group movement for children where the children will meet in parishes, schools, or sometimes orphanages, uh, really around the world, right, we're worldwide, to pray the rosary as a prayer group. Uh, they, that's, really what, that's really what they do. We're oriented around prayer, prayer of the rosary. Uh, we meet, well, the groups meet all in different times, different days, usually though monthly or weekly. And that's really our charism is prayer, prayer for, for children. And how do you find that, praying the rosary with children? Aren't they getting at some point um, bored with praying the rosary? Well, actually, it was interesting. I was hearing from a grandfather in Ireland, and he said to me, children take to the rosary like ducks to water. And he said he brought his two grandchildren to the children's rosary, and he said there was no concern about who wanted to lead. He's like, my grandson, he was, I think he said he was seven, wanted to lead all the prayers. And that's another component of our children's rosary is that it's not adult-led. It's child-led. So you have a group leader who's an adult, but then you encourage the children to go up to the podium, up at the microphone, and lead the prayers. And so there's this leadership that comes through in the children. And we also have for the younger ones roses that they can place at the foot of Our Lady. So they're giving, they're feeling like they're really doing something. And there's a lot of activity to the prayers. So that also engages them. And how do you feel, um, is, there, is the church paying enough attention to children as well, praying and, and leading them into prayer? Is that something uh, that should be more, there, where there should be more focus on? Well, I will say that I think a lot of the attention for children in the church has been on catechesis and not so much on the, the, the recognition that they have prayer needs and that indeed that they can grow in prayer and that this is a really formative time, as St. Therese used to say, um, that they're like soft as wax where you can either imprint, imprint virtue or vice. So this is a really important time where you can set those deep seeds. So I think uh, there may be an opportunity in the church to really expand their their uh, outreach to children, not just to catechesis, but also to prayer. Asher, do you pray the rosary every day? I try to, yes. Why, why do you pray the rosary? Well, the rosary, I mean, it's a really important prayer in the church, I, I would say. I think through apparitions and popes have written many encyclicals on it, right? It, it's a very important prayer uh, that can provide you with a lot of graces and obviously with each mystery comes, you know, a, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but it comes with a fruit that you get, like the fourth sorrowful mystery, or it's patience, or the first uh, joyful mystery is humility. So you, you really kind of help to develop your relationship with God, set aside purposeful time for God, you know, in your, in your life, which can be sometimes hard to do. And if you keep it consistent, I think it really kind of helps to develop your relationship with God and try to follow God's, God's plan for you on earth. So the Children's Rosary really is international. There are many countries who are participating. How many, from how many countries? Well, we're at, at approximately 34 countries. So we did spend, uh, right before the pandemic, uh, a month in Africa visiting our groups in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, where we're seeing incredible growth. But we're also seeing a lot of growth in Europe. So we're putting a lot of effort. We're just releasing, we just released our German uh, Children's Rosary website. We have our materials in English, Spanish, and French, and now German. And so, uh, we're really trying to spend a lot of extra time here in Europe to work with families and work with parishes and schools. What are your expectations for the World Meeting of Families? Well, 
having attended the past two, we have a lot of friends that we've met, uh, clergy, bishops, etc. And we're just hoping to meet with those people we've already made connections with, but also to meet with more. Um, as you were sharing with me, you know, there's pe people coming from over 100 different countries. So um, we continue to want to make those wonderful collaborations, connections with people in other countries because we really see the Children's Rosary as having the ability to unite the church in a very simple and beautiful way through the prayers of children.